Jeez, we're so lucky because <clears throat> our host is now bringing us 10 kilometers deep into the desert to meet actual local Bedouins. Sick. When people think of the Middle East, they typically think of a summer vacation in Dubai or war and conflict in Syria, but seem to forget countries like Jordan. The magical kingdom of Jordan, a country filled with breathtaking landscape, rich cuisine and amazing people, especially known for their hospitality and without a doubt, the kindest people we've ever met, where they welcome you as their own. Join us on our seven day adventure starting in Amman, traveling south until we depart from the city of Aqaba. We hope after watching our Jordan series, it encourages you to visit one of our favorite countries. Let's get started. Oh, yalla, yalla. Yalla, yalla. So we're currently being brought 10 kilometers deep into the desert to go meet some real, real local Bedouins. Our host is kind enough to bring us out there. So we'll catch up with you guys when we get there. Brilliant stuff. So excited, Jazzy. Woohoo! Unreal. Oh, no, real, real, real Bedouins. What's exciting is about this is that these guys don't see much tourists, so it'll be interesting to see what, what they're like and interact with them. Just asking questions about how they live and stuff. You, how many wives would you have? Me, uh, I have one. Just one? Just the one? Right now, this one. Okay. How long have you been married? 2000. Oh, wow, long time. I have eight kids. Oh, wow, nice. It's a good mix. Wow. And they live nearby? Yes. Yeah. Very good. It's crazy to see people live out here. No, it's not very cold, all the village. Yeah. The they were big men and nomadic in the desert. Wow. Oh. After the grass and the water. Oh, okay. And, uh, you can see this here. Oh, it's yeah, yeah. Cold. It's grass now, yeah. Oh, wow. Two days ago. Uh, that was good. Very good. Yeah. And then, even it's uh, like in a few weeks, it will be more of that. Just the note, when you want to make video, just tell me, you know. Of course, yeah, yeah, I'll let you know, yeah, yeah. And you have to know that it's not allowed to take picture of the no. women. Okay. No women? No women. Yes, okay. It's not allowed to take picture of No problem. Okay, very good. This side, I did the women's side. Only the men, the men's side, it's possible. Okay, okay, okay very you, good. Thank you. It's very, very, very good. No, we, want, we want to be respectful. Of course, yes, I know. All people, they are very respectful. No, we, we appreciate you showing us yeah, because... Yeah. yeah, I just tell you, because this is the tradition of the road. Yeah, we are yeah. in the for tourists, even everybody. Everybody, yeah, yeah. And the women, they have separate. They have men's side and women's side. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, we're going to be you can go to the other side. You sure? The woman is there. Okay. I'm going to go to the other side. 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 I'm going to Traditional Bedouin cafe. Okay. They, they cook it, you know, with the cardamom. Cardamom. Yes. Sugar. And, and you know, they serve a little. Mm -hmm. This is the tradition, serve a little, you know, because it's not like a tea. Okay. And, uh, and uh, when you finish, mm -hmm. you have to shake it. 
you shake then it. you finish if you keep giving them like this it's mean you are not full so they keep give you more okay so when you're finished you shake it yes you do like this it's mean you're finished okay, okay. and if you keep it you keep giving him the cup like this he'll fill it up he'll fill again okay okay and you know right. this is uh, from very old traditional they when they in the past when the bedouin like have someone who take care of the coffee and the tea mm, yeah they like they choose a deaf guide okay uh, because they will not move this the secrets of the tribes to the other tribe okay so and he cannot talk and he cannot listen so, so that's why he's the one that does it yes. oh that's so interesting okay yeah. that's very cool and what's it called again? And what's it called again? Huh? What's it called again? This is coffee. Oh, just coffee, okay. No, Bedouin coffee. Bedouin coffee. Mm. It's nice. Mm. Crazy. So this is where they live? Yes. So this here. Is the house, this is the guest room. House guest room. Yes. And inside the, the Then the other side is the women's side. The women's and then side that's where they stay. Yes. Okay. And then they're not allowed to go there. Okay, very good. Women they can go to the women's So there's a men's side and there's a women's side guys. So that's how their yeah. tradition very, is. Very, very simple and very nice. Very simple, yeah. Very, very simple. Oh. So they live so this is the guest room and they actually live here? So Jasmine's gone over to the women's side, but they're not allowed to film or take pictures that side, so you may not get to see any of that. But she's over there on that side. But I'm happy, thank God, that I have the privilege to be able to film here. Thanks to our, our guides here, our lovely guide. Sick. More tea. Tea is so sweet, so nice though. This is crazy. in the middle of the desert, 10 kilometers from where our camp is. So it was like a 20 minute drive. And this is basically where they stay. Hope Jazz is okay. <laughs> wow. So did you grow up in a place like this as well? Yes. Wow. Uh, Amazing. So it's free electricity. Yeah. So is only Arabic the speaker? They speak Arabic? Mainly, yeah. Yeah, they are, from, they are my cousin. Okay. Yeah. So they are my neighbor. And for how long will this stay here? What? The solar panel? How much time no, of electricity can it give you? It's give like uh, I think more than six hours. Oh, very good. Lighting, which is good, you know. Mm -hmm. But the charge fall in the day because the sun is strong. And yeah, and then in the night it can give you six hours. Yeah. That's enough time. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah. And that's the same in the camp as well. The solar panels. The camp it has solar and batteries. Battery as well. Yeah, they, this is just direct to the uh, system. Okay. I find it so fascinating that you guys live out here. Huh? I said it's so different to where I live. Yes. It's amazing. Yeah, of course. Hello. <laughs> so guys, I am at the women's area of the camp. And I found some friends to play with.
so we've got some goats over here as well um we can't film in the women's section um no one can so that's why i'm not filming inside but i'm going to show you the landscape the goats and the dogs and back to mike so they're quite strict with filming out here which is fair enough so I've kind of stepped away from the camp to be able to chat to you guys for a bit but literally in the middle of the desert crazy and this is like we're already in staying in the desert but then we're 10 we drove to like 10 kilometers further out from our camps to where these guys are staying and it's so quiet out here like see what I mean absolutely silent out here so the reason they stay a bit more out here is grass out here is a lot better for um, the animals so they can graze and stuff like that so in the distance I can see a guy walking with a, a flock of sheep I think or goats probably and yeah so like I said Jasmine's over at the female side which males aren't allowed into so there's no there's no swapping not allowed to film women it's just kind of part of their culture it's not even just a tourist thing it's like they don't film women so that's what they do so jazz is over there she won't be able to get any content but i'm sure she'll tell us loads about it but i don't know if you can see in the distance the guy walking the sheep but yeah i'm just walking over here towards the rocks which you can see are so big like i'm literally in the middle of the desert this is crazy i'm gonna go over here and just see what's over here uh okay so this is a dam obviously where the animals get to feed and drink water oh crazy so i'm wondering if that guy i feel like the animals might make their way back around here looks like he's walking towards here so hopefully we have to see what that kind of happens and how they work goats here so the goats that they have here is to eat for milk and their skin and then here we have the chickens the chickens here are for also eating she just um, fed them for me there she's the daughter of who owns this camp She's only 18. So guys, this is a true Bedouin camp. So I'm right here by the goats. You can see that they're grazing on the flowers and stuff. So here is me thinking that they're walking by themselves, but at the very end, there's like a dog there guiding them, I guess. Make sure they're all stay in line. The goat dog, that's what we call them. Feeding time for the baby goats. Wow. 
Look who it is. Hello. How was your experience in one or two sentences? It was wholesome. Oh, what did yeah, you see? It was wholesome. Didn't see anything, just, you know, got to be a part of their daily life, to be honest. Um, so to tell you a little bit why we didn't film too much, um, I was in the women's area and to give you a reason why, there's a men's area and there is a women's area as well. They do not mix. So Mike was in the men's area having tea with the with the local Bedouins and I was with the Bedouin's wife, daughter and baby as well and also uh, sons with that. And we were just talking as much as we could. Not too much English was spoken but we were able to get by, um, especially with the daughter anyway as she went to school. Thanks. Her mum gave me this bracelet. Ooh which was really, really amazing. Um, uh, I feel like now, every time I look at it, I've got something to think about. You know, yeah, that's you can't easily take it off. Yeah. No, I can't easily take it off either. So this is definitely a good memory. And we were just talking and having tea. They gave me some local sheep milk that they <laughs> milked that? themselves on the, on the farm here. Or would you say the farm or the desert? This is a desert. <laughs> this is a desert. I wouldn't so call it they gave me some of them. And had, we had some dates and... Um, because they have a baby as well all of us were just fussing over the baby and just making the baby laugh and it was just amazing and it was just a really nice experience even though we couldn't talk loads there was still conversation and we were able to play games in the sand and um, it was really nice I think when you know that you're with in good company there isn't a need to talk so much because a little comes across as a lot um, so overall a really nice experience especially as those are the sons over there having a race. Yeah, so there's also local dogs here as well. So I was able to meet the uh, the two pet dogs, or even local four, dogs. I think. There's, yeah, there's two, quite a few. Two two, and um, yeah, it's sunset now. So we're going to take a walk and we're going to get a lift back by one of the other tour guides. But no, a really nice experience, especially as it's not too easily accessible to everyone as well. Mm. Yeah. That's so true. They don't have many tourists coming out here. Um, so yeah, we're, we're extremely lucky to hang out with some Bedouin and live a Bedouin lifestyle out here.